YouTube was good with y'all. Coach Raya, your number one kingdom relationship coach. Um, this video here, I want to talk to the man, uh, man to man. I'm gonna call it man to man. You know, I want to talk to the man. You know, um, I know I don't have a lot of men that watch, but the little handful of men that I do watch, um, you know, this this is this is for y'all, and maybe. The title of the video might recommend it to more men. Um, it kind of hard for me to do, um, you know, men topics because you know, a lot of men don't respond. You know, but a lot of men they watch in, you know, um, they watch behind, you know, the scene. They don't really interact a lot. So, therefore, I don't know what to address. What, what men want me to address. Um, uh, Y'all guys, excuse my eye. Um, it ain't really feeling healed yet. Um, so if, I'm, if I got my eye closed because the light is in the eye. Um, but I got to I gotta serve. I got to serve. I got to serve. But anyways, uh, I'm going to talk to the men. I'm going to talk to the men. You know, because sometimes men do complain. Uh, men complain about women don't submit to men. You know, me and I not submissive, submissive no more. And I'm going to get into that. You know, I'm going to get into that. But I want you men to understand. And if you're a woman, you you know, let your, let your you, you got a son, that like old son, a nephew, whatever. Send this to them, you know. Um, I want you to understand first as a man that you are a leader. You are a leader. Um, and this is this way... A lot of me, me and a lot of young men in this generation bump heads, the younger generation bump heads is because I believe the old school way, traditional way. I believe the man is the leader. The man is the head. According to the Bible, we know First Corinthians um, chapter 11, uh, the head of, of it, 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 what it says, the head of, um, uh, man is Christ. The head of Christ is God. You know, in um, the head, in in um, in the head of the woman is man. So you know, it, it may not be in that particular order because I'm, I'm not. You know, I'm just paraphrasing it. But it says, you know, um, the head of the head of woman is man. The head of man is Christ. The head of Christ is God. Something like that. First Corinthians chapter eleven. So. We the head, we the leader, and you know, and back to the thing about oh no gender roles and stuff like this here, you know I don't understand where, where they where they come from with that, you know when, when I say I believe in gender roles, let me say this right here that does, that, that doesn't mean that a man can't do housework sometimes too. I'm not saying that it's only for the woman to do housework and all this here, but you know. What I mean is the way God set it up, the man role, gender role is to lead, is to be the head. You know what I'm saying? And me, a lot of men get slack. Get uh, a lot of men give me um, kick back about um, about paying the bills. You know, um, I, I believe in marriage, not girlfriend and boyfriend. In marriage, the man is responsible for paying. For making sure the bills are getting paid. I'm not saying the wife can't work and help. Nothing wrong with that. If, if your wife working and help you paying bills, ain't nothing wrong with that. You see what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm just saying because you the head, you the leader. If the rent of the mortgage don't get paid, that is your responsibility. Not your wife's responsibility. You see what I'm saying? That's what a lot of men don't understand. You know, nothing wrong with a woman helping you paying bills. Nothing wrong with that. But that is your responsibility as a man, not hers. You see what I'm saying? You know, you 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 know, if you marry and y'all going fifty fifty, y'all happy. You know, I, I I got a cousin. You know, we say him, him and the wife go fifty fifty. They okay, fine. I'm not saying they should. Everybody, every every man should pay all the bills. Cause the way you look at it, if y'all marry, y'all won anyway. So it doesn't. You know, it's not really no such thing as fifty fifty in marriage. If y'all won anyways, you see what I'm saying? Unless now y'all married. Now if y'all married. And you got an account, then she got an account. You pay half, and, he, and she pay half. Okay, you know, I don't agree with that, but if, if it worked for y'all, 
keep doing what y'all are doing. You see what I'm saying? But you know, I, I, be, I believe that the woman, the, the man is the head, the man is the leader. You see what I'm saying? The man is the leader, and the man should take lead. And as a man lead, the woman follow. And whenever you with a woman who's not following you, then guess what? As a man, you gotta you gotta say, hey, you know what? This ain't gonna work for me. But most men don't do that. Most men don't do that. And see, like I always tell y'all, you know, us men, we fall in love through physical attraction. And that's the downfall of a man. That's a that's a weakness of a man, you know, to fall with for a woman then because she is attractive. You know, and and, and 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 we can see the red flags, but we go right to we, we, we still go along with it because she's fine. And us men, we tend to give attractive women more passion than we would give a woman who's not as attractive attractive. And that's what we go wrong with as men. You know what I'm saying? I did that. You know what I'm saying? The same way you got grown boys, men, you got grown girls out there. You got grown girls out there. Yes, you got some women out there that, that just only, only want your money. Yeah, they out there. You know what I'm saying? But the women who like that, those are the ones who y'all are attracted to. You see what I'm saying? And what some men do wrong is they complain about women wanting their money, but when they but when they pursue a woman, they pursuing with their money. You know, I I heard I've heard women telling me men who they just met on the phone bragging about how much money they got, how much money they make. But you want to complain about a gold digger. You don't you don't tell no woman on the first conversation about your money, how much you making all of you. If she asks you, do you got a job? Okay, yeah, I got a job. You know, I work for UPS, whatever, FedEx, whatever you do. You see what I'm saying? That's it. Short and sweet. You ain't got to tell her. Uh, yeah, I work for UPS. I've been out fifty year. I got I got hundred million dollars in four one k and all this stuff here. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I'm saying? Y'all complain about gold diggers, but y'all do stuff to attract gold diggers. You know what I'm saying? And a real woman, she don't want to hear all about what you got in your bank and all that here at first. She want to know your your heart, your character. Because she got hers. And that's the thing. See, I believe that the man pulled to be the pursuer. Because we are hunters by nature. We pursue. And whenever a woman is pursuing you, you don't want that. I've had women pursue me. And, and, and it's a turn off. A real man, you should want a woman that pursue you. You see what I'm saying? If you if you if you get a woman that pursue you, nine times out of the ten, you're gonna you gonna end up with baby mama drama. Or you're gonna end up catching hell and she's gonna be a gold digger. Cause that's what gold diggers do. You know, if, you, if they say you got a little something, a little money, whatever, you you doing good, you got, you know, your pocket's fat, whatever, they gonna they're gonna be more you know what I'm saying? Easy. But it's going to be a game just to get your money. And successful men, they, they, they fall for a lot of times. You know, the men in the NFL and NBA, you know, you, you're a target. You're a target to women. Um, and, you know, they, they want, they, they, they will purposely have a baby from you so they can, so you can pay them. Fifteen thousand, ten thousand a month on child support. See what I'm saying? The the, the man who making money, the you know the millionaire status or the successful men, women will you know throw themselves at you. You know what I'm saying? But you can't go to a woman telling her how much you got and all this stuff here. You, you this, this is what some men be doing, but they complain about gold diggers. You see what I'm saying? And but see. What you got to realize as a man, see, and I believe that, you know, the man should lead, the man should pay for dates. I'm not talking about paying her bills. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't believe that a boyfriend is obligated to pay a girlfriend bills. See, you know what y'all be getting me wrong at? You know, girlfriend and boyfriend, you know, you want a woman that's independent, that can pay her own bills, that have her own, that can hold her own stuff down. If a woman can't pay her bills by herself, then you don't, as a man, you don't want that. You don't want that. You want a woman that got some going for herself as well. And, you know, she, she, she can pay her own bills. You don't want a woman come to the relationship with her hands out. Y'all just met. It ain't been a week or two. She talking about she need money to pay her light bill. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You don't want that. You know, um, I had a friend. I had a friend and 
he was talking to this girl over the phone for like over a year. And they never was in an exclusive relationship. But every now and then he he hip out with a bill, you know, he hip out with a bill. So when he was talking, it was like, so I was like, I said, hold on, so how long y'all been talking? About, about a year, almost a year and a half, something like that, he said. And you give her money sometime, yeah, and y'all never been out on a date? No. Every time I decided to go out with her, she got in this queue. I said, dog, don't give, don't, don't give her another dime. Don't give her another dime. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm not trying to knock the, knock, knock the woman, but, you know, woman that's, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I say this, but I ain't even going to say that because people get, people get offended. So I'm, I ain't not even going to say that. But, you know, you don't, you know, you've been a whole year and, and you every time you ask this woman for a date, she got an excuse, but you giving her money for the light bill. No, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that. You see what I'm saying? If you with a woman, if you talk to a woman, if she don't reciprocate, guess what? Then you you you, you keep the money in your, your in your in your wallet, and eventually you move on. You see what I'm saying? You move on. You know you don't sit there and give a woman your money. See, I'm not promoting boyfriends paying girlfriend bills. You got boyfriends buying girlfriends um bags. You see what I'm saying? Expensive bags and stuff like that. You don't buy no girlfriend, no bag, bro. You know, my opinion, if I'm going to buy a bag, it's, she going to be a wife. She going to be got to put some time in. I ain't going to buy no girlfriend. I just know her for six months because she look good. She got good banana pudding. I'm going to buy her a, a bag, an expensive bag of five grand, ten grand, all the hell. I don't care if, I don't care if you got it like that. That way a lot of men go around. I don't care if you make it six figures. I don't, I don't care how much you making. I don't care if you got it like that. You don't you don't do stuff like that. And I had a friend of I had a friend um a while ago and I just tell my friend when, when he met this girl, you know, he would go when he get paid, he would go spend almost his whole check on that girl. Very pretty. She was a pretty girl too. Pretty red bone. And he would go uh, spend almost his whole check on the girl. You know, and they just they just started dating. And I told him, I said, listen. I said, that girl gonna hurt you, man. I said, you don't know her. You, y'all just met. And you spending all the money on jewelry and stuff like that right there. Stuff like that. That, that, that really don't, don't, don't matter. He was a young guy, you know. Uh, child school, a young guy. I was older than him. I say, you teaching her that this is what relationship is gonna be about. In the beginning, how you start off, if you start off giving her these expensive gifts, she gonna expect that throughout the whole entire relationship. You see what I'm saying? So I told him don't do that. See, I'm not telling men to go out there and just get a woman to start spending money on a woman. No. You gotta get a woman, pursue the woman, but you gotta vet this woman. Talk to her. The same thing I tell women, the same thing the pattern men. Vet her. Talk to her. See how she hold a conversation. See can she articulate without using a bunch of profanity. You know what I'm saying? Look how she talks. And I, and I use this a lot of time when I talk about, you know, when, when I do do man videos, I can't help but think about my friend. You know, my friend called me one time, my homeboy called me one time crying. Oh, oh, Rod, women don't submit to men no more. Gee, women have to submit to a man. You know, so the girl he was with heard him. You know, uh, he moved her in his place, paid all the bills. You know, she had to work, pay the cell phone bill and everything. You know, um, you, you don't let no girl come in your place and talk bad about your mother and your mother had passed. He, his, his mother died and passed. The girl coming in, the girl, he moved the girl in. When she get married, she talking about the man mother. Uh-uh, you got to go. I told him right there, you should have you kicked her out, bro. You're not finna come up in here. I'm paying the bills in here, and you ain't working on paying your cell phone bill. And you gonna talk about my mother and my mama dead? Girl, you gotta go. But he kept letting her stay in the house and disrespect him. The same thing I say to men, the same thing I say to women, the same thing about the men. Do not tolerate disrespect for no woman. You see what I'm saying? And the way he went wrong at. You know, the woman, um, I think she put a knife on him and stuff like that. You can't put a knife on me. You in my house, you gotta go. You got to go. 
You know what I'm saying? But where he went wrong at, he reinforced bad behavior in the beginning. He saw, you see what I'm saying? The red flag was right in his face. The same thing I tell women, that you're going to see some red flags when you with the wrong person. The same thing apply to men. When you with the wrong woman, you're going to see red flags. When you with a wrong girl, the red flags going to be in your face. But what messed us men up? The bedroom. I've been there. And I said it before. I, I, I was I was with a girl one, one time. When we first started dating, she would get mad at me. If, if we had a disagreement, she would get mad at me, hang the phone, and curse me out, hang the phone up on me. Curse me out, F you. Hang the phone up on me. Now, what I did, I called her back, apologized. Oh, I'm sorry. What I did, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm teaching her that it's okay to curse me out and disrespect me. I'm going to call you back. But what I should have did was I should have checked on on that. I should have called her back and said, listen, let it be the last time you ever curse, curse me out and hate fun about my faith. I'm not going to tolerate this disrespect for you. That's what I should have told her. And then if she would have came back at me, oh, you want effing tell me what to do? I do the effing I want to do. Blah, blah, blah. And you know what? God bless you. You have a good life. This ain't going to work. That's it. The same thing I tell women, the same thing apply to you men. But we can't do that because we want to get in the bedroom. We want to get in the bedroom. That's y'all problem. That's y'all problem right there. Until you learn how to control your, 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 your sexual desire and pick a woman based upon her character, not just her looks alone. You see what I'm saying? You see, and, and, and let me show y'all how I do it. This is how I do it. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to give y'all an example. See, you don't pursue every woman that's attractive. You don't pursue every woman that's attractive. Some women that's attractive, they, 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 they good on the outside, but the inside mess up. And, and, and the book say, and the good book even say, uh, uh, it's better for a man to be in the wilderness by himself than to be in the, uh, in the house with a contentious woman. The good book say in the book of Proverbs that it's better for a man to be on the corner of the roof than to be in the house with a nagging woman. She's attractive, but she toxic. Bell, Bill in the boat said that girl is poison. You can't trust a big button to smile. You gotta get to know her character. So, so when you see a woman, I'm just gonna use this example. Let's say you're a delivery guy. Let's say you FedEx man, you you FedEx man, whatever, UPS man, whatever, and you you know this is a nice looking girl on your route. She's attractive, pretty, you know, nice and everything. You know, you like the way she look. So the first time you see her, you, you don't you, you don't want to pursue her right away. You want to wait a, wait a, watch her for a good week. You know what I'm saying? Use your discernment for a good week, maybe two weeks. Watch her. When you go into her her her, her, her job to deliver your packages, or whatever. Watch how she interact with other with other coworkers. What 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 she's saying? This is how I do it. You know, she's attractive, but you go on the you going to, she very fine now, but you going there one day and you heard her talking to a co a coworker using all the F words and I can't stand that B, isn't that da, da, da. you want her to submit to you? I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know y'all man gonna get there right here. She fine now, she attractive, but you go on her place of business and, and you and, and it's one lady right here and you're talking to her and she's signing the package. But you hear the girl that you like, that's fine, in the background, talking to her employee, cussing all the time. If, 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 every time you go in there, she, she got her mouth open cursing. You don't want to pursue that. Because nine times out of ten, she's not going to submit to you. That woman that got a mouth that can't control her tongue, she's not going to submit to you. You don't pursue her. Yeah, she's attractive, but look at her morals. It takes a woman with morals to submit to a man. Submitting is a moral act. So if she can't control her tongue, bro, if she on her job cursing, when y'all get to argument, she's gonna do what the same thing, she's gonna do the same way. You see what I'm saying? So you wanna watch her. Watch how she watch how she interact with, with, with her co-workers. Watch how she interact with, her, with the customers and stuff like that. You know, then you wanna speak to her. Hey, how you doing? If she don't speak to you like she got some. You know, say, hey, how you doing? How you doing? With a smile, eye contact. Get what? Don't waste your time with them. If you say, hey, 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 how you doing? 
She like, hi, I don't know, stale and dull, hi, real quick, turn her head like you ain't there. Get what? Don't pursue her. You want a woman that going to give you eye contact. And this is what I tell my women, you know. And I know women been taught that, you know, and like you don't like a man, pay hard to get, and all they hear. When the man call, you don't answer the phone, let him call about eight times for you answer the phone. I don't teach my women to do stuff like that. Listen, we, we are dating. We are courting to get married. It's, it's no games. If you like the man, reciprocate. Period. If you don't like him, then, hey, you know, brother, I'm not, you know, let him down. I'm not dating right now in, my, in this season of my life. Whatever. But if you like the man, get a better chance. Don't play games with a man. This is what I teach my women. But some women been taught to play games. You got these any women on any women on YouTube telling women, oh, you know, let them pursue you. Don't answer the phone. Let them call you by eight times. Always be busy. And like you don't like him. You got single women who ain't never got no man telling women how to get a man. They ain't got no man. I see this, I see this crap one time on YouTube. Two, two beautiful women, single as a dollar bill, telling women how to get a man. And they ain't got no god log on man. And they telling women, you know, uh, uh, when he called, don't answer the phone. Let him, you know, pay hard to get all this. I, I don't teach women to stuff like that. Don't play with nobody. If you like him, reciprocate. If he be suing, reciprocate. So, fellas, if, if, if you speak to her and she don't speak to you like, with some enthusiasm, she don't give you that smile, make you feel comfortable, like, hey, Harry, this is what I teach my women. It's okay to get a man... I cut tag in a little smile. Not a big goofy smile, but hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Speak like you, because women want a man to pursue them, but look at your attitude, though. So I get them, I get them women about this right here. So I tell my women, you want to be pursued, you got you to gotta be friendly. You got to be warming, because us men don't like rejection. Do you know what I'm saying? So my advice to you men, don't just pursue them because she's attractive. Get, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you know you're not going to see her again, you're on the spot, then you may have to pursue her if you like her. But when you start talking to her on the phone, you start having a conversation where you want to you want to look how she talk. But most men can't do this because they just won't get her on her back. And that way, you, that way y'all be going wrong with it. Y'all be thinking with the wrong head. You thinking with the head down here instead of the head up here. Back to my friend complaining about women don't submit to a man because he thinking with the wrong head. He thinking with it because she's a beautiful, light-skinned woman, you know. So, and when he met the woman, she told me, I left my ex because, she, because he couldn't F me in the bedroom. That should have been the last conversation. You on the phone with a woman and y'all talking, I left my ex because he couldn't F me in the bedroom. Did that be me? I'm be like, I'm going to get off the phone with her. I'm be like, you know, um, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think you're going to be a good fit for me. You know, you're a good woman, but, you know, it just... I don't, I don't think he's gonna. You just not for me. Something like that. God bless you, whatever. That's it. You see what I'm saying? So you don't pursue everybody because they're attractive. You gotta watch. Sometimes you gotta watch the woman. You see what I'm saying? You gotta look at her, her character, man. If she ain't got no character, brother, I don't care how fine she is. You ain't gonna be happy. I've been there. I've been with an attractive woman that's attractive, banana pudding good. She can cook, clean, and all that stuff there. That what y'all looking for for a wife? Man, ain't nothing wrong with that, but. You want to look at her character. Is she God fearing? If she ain't God fearing, how good she cook? She can fry chicken, taste better than pie pies. She can, oh, she can, she can, she can, she can. Her, her banana pudding can be so good. If you throw it up in the air and turn the sunshine, if that woman don't know how to respect you, bro, you ain't gonna be happy. We're just cooking in in, in 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 the bedroom stuff, and you ain't gonna be happy if she don't know how to respect you. See what I'm saying? That's what you want to look at as a man. You want to look at respect. Does she respect me? And what y'all around here complaining about, ain't no good women out here. We have women who want to get married. Y'all are running from the women who wants to get married. Because the one who really want to get married is serious. She got her legs closed until marriage. And when a woman tell y'all that she been asking for five years, you think something wrong with her. When, when you meet a woman that's 35 years old, ain't never been married, ain't never had kids, and, 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 and you automatically thinking that's something wrong with her. That what you going wrong there. Ain't nothing wrong with a woman that's 35 year old and never been married. The reason why she ain't never been married because she refused to settle. That's a good woman. That's the woman that you want. You want the woman that's 35 years old and ain't never been married. You want the woman that's 35 years old and been asking for five years. 
I don't understand some of y'all. You want you want you want somebody that's got to be with another man last week. That should be a turn off to me to you. If I want to tell you, yeah, I, I I just did something last week. You should be like, huh? I don't understand that. Why do men run from women who've been asking for a long time? That's where men, a lot of men go wrong at. Hey, I'm having this talk to y'all men to men. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all my brothers to help y'all. You know what I'm saying? Tell y'all where y'all going wrong at, bro. You can't either get no woman because she's attractive and she's not a cook and not get in the bedroom and all that kind of stuff. She's not to go down on you. That ain't that don't mean nothing. If she ain't got no character, she ain't got no morals. But in order for you to attract a woman that have morals, morals, you gotta have morals. You can't say a woman don't submit to a man and, 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 and you ain't got no morals. Where your morals at? You see what I'm saying? Where your morals at? If you want a woman with morals, you gotta have to become a man with morals. You see what I'm saying? And that way a lot of y'all men going wrong at. You y'all just run behind anything, they got a hope in their leg, and, and, and you know, then you want to watch it, get them on their bed, get them in the bedroom, get them on their backs, and then you, know, you complain about you got baby mama drama. That's why some of y'all right now got baby mama drama right now, because y'all just want to rush and get these women on their backs. Then the consequence of getting a woman on her back is, is, is a baby. If you don't use nothing, it's a baby. And and let's be real with y'all. Let's let's be real, man. We don't like using that when we when, when, when we do that because we don't feel it all the way. You know what I'm saying? It don't feel as good when we put that on. So we like to go in that route, feel everything. And you know the consequences of you going inside a crazy girl route? The consequences is you're going to have baby mama drama. The consequences is you're going to be on child support. But if you do it God's way, she was saying, now let me, uh, uh, let me deal with child support for a little bit. You know, do I think some men need to be on now? Yeah, I do. But I think some men who are on now are good men, but they just own up because they ask was bitter. That's my situation. You know, the ask was bitter. They moved on. Then now she go put them on child support. It happens. You know, um, do I think child support is nasty? Yes, they are. My experience, you know, they, they, they nasty, you know, from my experience. You know, when I was in the court, when my child support came with my Ed White, the child support lady was, was in the, in the court and the judge talking to me, asking me how much money I make and whatever, whatever. So I'm telling the judge how much money I make. She talking about, oh, you lying. I say, hold on. I'll talk to the judge. Be quiet. She thought I was lying about how much money I make because she wanted, she wanted to get more money out of me. Let me tell y'all now what I know now. Uh, my little son, mama, she got a son for me and a daughter for somebody else. And at the time, I worked for UPS, making about 80000 a year. Her, uh, her other um, baby daddy, he wasn't, he wasn't working doing nothing. She told me, Charles Putt told her to come out to me. Go, go for the guy for you, be girl. You get some money off of him. So, do I believe that some man need to be on child support? Yeah, I'm not saying that, but that system, I do, I do agree that the child support system is designed to keep the man down, us. But guess what? I'm not blaming child support. I'm blaming us because we chose to lay down and be with a woman who we're not married to. And, and, and get her pregnant because we already know the consequences when you go inside a woman's route and get her pregnant. So it's not child support fault. We allow child support to keep us down as black men. We allow child support to keep us down. Because we make dumb decisions. We go inside a, a crazy woman route. Now we want to move on with our life because she crazy or whatever. Uh, the relationship didn't work out. Now she's going down to put you on, uh, on support. You see what I'm saying? But us men can avoid this. We can avoid this if we use our brain, our head up here, and not the head down there. That's how the, this, that, 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 that is the consequences of doing things the world way, not God's way. But if we do it God's way, 
And, then, and see, y'all men don't want to hear this right here. Y'all finna turn the video off right here. But we do it God's way and wait until we get married. You got a better chance. I'm not saying it's going to work out all the time. It may not still work out. But you got a better chance of it working out. Then you had just great women just getting on their backs. You got a better chance. Doing it God's way. What I mean by doing God's way? Getting you a godly woman. A woman that fear God. But my question is, do you fear God? If you don't fear God, you're not going to attract a woman that fear God. If you're a grown boy, get what? You, you only going to attract grown girls. Because when you come to a real woman, get what? You're going to turn her off. I know a lot of real women that, 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 that I coach. A lot of men turn them off. A lot of men turn them off. Good women. Faithful. Got their own money. They making money. They ain't stealing y'all money. They making money. They, 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 they got looks. They got their own house, places, and everything. And they, and, and, and they are getting left and overlooked. Because they don't want to get on their backs. Men, I, I, I want to leave y'all with this right here. You a leader. You the head. You the head, not the tail. You got to lead. You got to lead, man. You got to lead, you know. And I'm not against men. I'm against, I'm against, I'm against men who disrespect women, who treat women wrong. That's what I'm against. But real men who want to learn, want to grow up, want to be a man, I'm all for you. I've, I've coached some men clients. I, I, I coach some men, not a lot, but I coach some men clients. Do you know what I'm saying? But fellas, fellas, you the man, you the head. You the head. You the head. You responsible for what goes on in the house when you get married. You responsible. Now, girlfriend and boyfriend, different story. Different story. Different story. I got to cut the thing short. I, 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 I got to coach a client. I may, I may got to do a part two to this right here because I want to finish saying some things I want to say. Um, but hey, we need coaching. Link for that gonna be inside the description box. Here on that link for coaching. Um, I'm also the author of the book called Queen Don't Settle. If you're not purchased my book, click on that, click on that link as well. Thank everybody for for your support. Sony, my um my my ministry, my page. I really appreciate you. If you want to sow, the cash out gonna be down there as well. God bless y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. I gotta get out of here.